The first identity is gray sexual or gray asexual. Gray asexuals experience some sexual attraction, though it may be rare or mild or inconsistent or otherwise irregular. This can also function as an umbrella term for anybody who's not completely asexual, as in experiences no sexual attraction ever, but does not identify as allosexual or as experiencing sexual attraction. My... Okay. Um, okay. Tra sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Okay, so... So this is pointing out that there is an asexual that means attracted, not attracted at all, and then allosexual, which I've found out, just means... Um, regular regular is probably not good normal i don't know um means just um uh, yeah probably average um amount of uh, sexual attraction um okay so uh gray did she call it gray gray asexual um yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to imagine a real world case of this mattering uh the the only thing i can ma i can imagine is something Something to do, let's see, I'm trying to imagine, okay, if people are wanting to date, let's say they go online, they want to meet somebody online, um, it's probably easier to not, well, okay, so this will come down to, would somebody that's any of these asexual uh, terms, but let's say this gray asexual one, um, do are they looking to only date people that are also that or are they just looking to date people that accept that um because i'm guessing um let's let's imagine somebody wants to be monogamous just for the sake of let's you know growing old with somebody and having the normal human feeling of jealousy um i'm guessing somebody that's gray asexual wouldn't want to just go on dates constantly and try to find a life partner with somebody that would be all allosexual, just somebody that would have a regular um, sexual drive. Because if you don't have a sexual drive at all, or not much of one, and and you're you're going on dates with people, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess how I would compare this would be if somebody was say bisexual, but to an extreme of being like, let's say a man was bisexual and he was like 90% attracted to men and like 10% attracted to women. Like he definitely preferred men. I would guess that not only would he probably not want to have his life partner be a woman if sex was a big part of his life, but a woman wouldn't want to be a life partner with somebody that is more attracted to the other, the other sex. Oh, this is interesting. I'm just trying to work this out in my head. So I'm kind of, um, it's kind of all over the place. I don't think a lot of things have easy answers and a lot of things do not. And, uh, and, and I think in a sense, a lot of things do fall on spectrum. So it makes it complicated to break this down. Um, I'm just trying to imagine the differences. So let's, cause, cause my idea is that I don't think, uh, most of these identities need to exist and, uh, the terms at least. And so like, let's imagine a world where this person that's gray asexual. So, um, they don't experience much sexual attraction, but they do experience some. So they see other humans and they want to have sex with them. Maybe not as much as others, but they do. So imagine they just call themselves, let's say there's, let's say the amount of gray asexual, um, sexual attraction they have, it, let's call it straight just for sake of conversation. I don't know if it matters, but, um, okay. So if they just called themselves straight and didn't have this, this term, let's, let's picture how this plays out. So they go on dates, um, if they just if they are a person that just wants to find anybody and they're not worried about that detail of finding somebody that's like them, um, they just want to find somebody accepting of it, then they can go on a date with somebody and they can tell this person like, hey, just so you know, like it's kind of strange, but I'm not too into sex that often or I'm not too sexually attracted. 
that, yeah, I don't know. So that, that is a thing I'm curious about. If anybody knows anything about this gray asexual business, um, I'm curious if it means that you're not attracted to people too often. Like say your average straight person or gay person um, sees people they're attracted to like one in every 10 people they see, they find attractive and that's just something they can't help. They just, that's how they're built. They find them attractive or maybe even more than that, like one in every five. Um, would a gray asexual person find one in every million attractive, but they're just as sexually interested in that person as a, a, a regular like amount of sex drive? Or is it that you're attracted to less people and also the people that you are attracted to, you just have less interested, less interest in sex with them. Um, it makes it complicated, which is why I feel like even having a billion different names doesn't even answer all these things. So I'm wondering if these names even answer enough for any of it to matter. Like if you, if you are only attracted to like one in a million people, then when you find that one you're attracted to, if you have sexual interest in them, just like your average typical person, then it doesn't really matter. You're, you're not going to go on dates with likely you're not going to go on dates with people you're not attracted to. So you're just going to go on less dates and find less people. But if you, no matter how many people you're attracted to, if you just have less interest in sex, like once every couple months, you're like, I really want to have sex right now and I'm really attracted to this person. So I'm going to have sex with them, but I might not want to have sex for another couple months. Then that's another interesting element. And you could, if, if you, if there wasn't this label, then when you're talking to people, you could just say, Hey, by the way, I feel this way. Um, and I guess we could, we could probably guess that your average person, uh, wouldn't want to have a life partner with this situation because they might want to have sex more. I don't know. Um, so it's probably easiest for the, a gray asexual person and correct me if I'm wrong, but to date somebody else that is, uh, like-minded. So if you only have interest in having sex every once in a while, um, then you'd probably want to have a life partner that also feels the same way. That way, even if the times that you do feel sexually attracted don't line up, you're not in this awkward situation of not having any interest in sex, but doing it just for the partner, which, um, you know, there are those people and you can do that, but it, it's, um, probably just less ideal. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but there's probably many people, whether asexual or not, that might view the world in a way where they want to have a life partner that, that, um, that that element doesn't matter that both people could be straight, but they're not even sexually attracted to each other and they don't even want to have sex with each other. And let's just say they both just do solo things and they, they take care of their sexual desires alone. Um, and they could spend the rest of their lives together and be great. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk on more of an average typical way that makes sense for all of us to, um, discuss things with each other. And so even if somebody has that feeling, which I believe would, they would be the odd man out. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that we need all the, all the details. So, um, so the, a vague, I, okay. I'll concede to this. The vague idea of being a person saying that you are a person that is not too into sex, that you're looking for a life partner and you're also looking for one that's not too into sex. It makes sense to have a label that, um, that doesn't mean that you're completely against sex and it, and it's letting people know that you're not the average person when it comes to that kind of thing. So, Maybe. Okay. So I might be, I might be cool with, um, the idea of the gray sexual, but I also don't think it should be under the spectrum of asexual. I really think that the word asexual should mean zero sexual attraction. And then gray sexual would be in between a and what some people call allosexual, which is just whatever it's like, um, the average, um, so um, I would not be making a video countering anything at all. If that's all that exists was asexual, um, gray sexual and then allosexual. And then also you have the different variations of uh, gay and bisexual. Um, so anyways, uh, comment 
leave a message, uh, like, subscribe, let me know if you want to chat, and I'm on to the next one.